This video is to demonstrate the difference between an, the quality of an ECG trace when a patient has been prepped correctly compared to just slapping electrodes on. So we're using electrodes that are cold so they haven't been against someone's pocket warming up. Uh, we're not trying to demonstrate correct ECG placement here so it is approximations. We're just looking to, do, to demonstrate the quality of the trace that can be achieved when you're using correct patient preparation. So already we can see that some of the electrodes are starting to peel off. So we're obviously not going to get a really good quality trace connecting those how they currently are. When you're using the alligator clips you'll notice that one size one side of the alligator clip has a piece of metal for conducting. One side may not although some alligator clips do have conduction on both sides. That side of the metal clip must be in contact with the ECG tab not the plastic upper surface. So the flat side of the alligator clip should be in contact with the patient, not the other way around. Alright, so we've got very, very poor leads on the left. It's actually pretty good on the rest of it. Now, can you just clench your fist? So that's muscle artifact where a patient's holding their hands or their arms off the couch. If you relax it again, yep. Now can you straighten out your legs? So this is the trace where we haven't prepped our patient at all. Still pretty good but we're getting a little bit of muscle artifact. We've had to muck around with the electrodes to make sure that we've got uh, them staying in place because they've lifted, but the trace is still okay.